Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny to all of my returning subscribers. Hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Kick your feet up, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss any posts, and follow me on Instagram at the same profile name, officialbun underscore E, so you can get the inside scoop of what to expect, what's coming up next. Now this is a movie and television show recap and review channel, but I love to add things to the playlist just to broaden things that I like to do. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to dye a synthetic wig. In my situation, I went from a 613, which was a blonde color, to this kind of lavender char type of color. I'm gonna show you how to do it because I'm sure many of you have ordered synthetic wigs and it's really not the color that you wanted it to be don't throw that wig away i'm gonna show you to change it how to change it to any color that you want that's all coming up next Okay, y'all, so when I originally got this, this is the Sensational Butter Lace Unit number three. And I got it in the 613, because I'm like, you know what? A lot of my brown skin sisters have gotten this wig, and it looks great on them. So I ordered it, chow boo. When I tried this on, I was like, both of the clown, both of the clown. That looked crazy. It was more like this orange, kind of color but anyway let me just show you what the wig look like on the inside so the lace is pretty great i mean it gives you this kind of hd look um like this bleached kind of look it's it's actually a center part wig and i want to show you what it looks like on the little styrofoam head there as you can see it has a really good hairline looks really really natural so it's a good wig it's just the color wasn't working for me so i did my research and i'm like you know what i don't want to throw this wig away it's perfect with this color just it ain't getting it and the pattern was great and i'm like what can i do with this i don't want to give it away what can we do so you want to buy like a cheap little container from walmart this one was three dollars boil you some hot water get it boiling hot and i saw a lot of other people when they did it online on youtube that they use the pot i'm not about to use any pot so get some rit some rit dye more make sure that it says synthetic get synthetic and i got this color in a chocolate brown because just like fabric or real hair sometimes you have to go in increments to get it to the color that you want and when i went on their website they said be careful to lift which meaning to, to make it brighter, or if it's bright, make sure to go down slowly. Don't just get black and then just go from there. So we're gonna lighten the color and go to a brown. So I put my boiling hot water in this container. I cut off a little piece just to see what it would look like so I wouldn't ruin the whole thing. Poured half of the brown in there just to see what was going on, what to expect, what to do. And I got this little piece and I dipped it in just to see what color it was going to give me. Now, it's not like hair color that you do on a human hair wig. Synthetic dyeing, which I read on their website, can be kind of deceptive. It's not this automatically turned to what it looks like in the container. So I went on ahead and just entered just all of the rest of the brown synthetic dye. Make sure it says synthetic, you guys, because if it's not synthetic, the color won't take. Synthetic is just basically a plastic. It's not human hair, doesn't mimic human, it just mimics it. So I'm just dipping that in there and um we do see that it's taking the color on this synthetic fiber which is a good thing that's what we want and i'm just dipping it in and even after a couple of seconds i'm seeing that it's taking really really good so that's a good sign so i just keep dipping it in in there and the longer that i have it um in the water the darker it gets so I got my Janet five, four, three, two, one. People of the world unite, stay together, we can get it right. Okay, anyway. So anywho, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and dip the entire wig in there. Cause I saw from the strands that it's it's taking the color. Not meaning it's gonna be this brown right off the bat. Now this is deceptive, remember? Cause this is a fabric synthetic dye. 
Don't dip your wig in there and you're like, oh, yes, honey brown. I'm done. Like, boo. Nah, I'm your guinea pig for you. This is what's going to happen. It's going to take the faint of the color. Now, since it's this yellow kind of blonde color, I want this brown on the whole thing. Just so when I have my wig on with a wig cap, it's going to look like hair and it's not going to be this yellow color. Now, this is the part you I really got to pay attention to. As you're dipping it, since this is brown, it's okay. The the um, lace is already kind of brown, but it's okay to dip it in there. But just kind of focus on the yellow parts, the wig cap, and dip it in there. Don't be afraid. You're like, oh my goodness, I messed up the whole wig. No, go ahead. It's 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 a faint brown. It won't dye it to this dark brown color. Trust me. Trust me, I'm, I'm going to show you what happens. So I'm just getting a cheap little thing I got from the dollar store. Honey, I'm not messing up my good cookware with this experience, <laughs> this experiment. So I just got me a little dollar thing. I let it sit in there for one hour. Now, anybody who's dyed synthetic wigs, if you leave it in all night, it's not going to make a difference. After an hour, it's going to be the same color if you left it in there for three days. Whatever color it's going to take is the color it's going to take. After it's been sitting in there an hour... I'm like, what? This don't look dark brown. This is what I'm telling y'all. It's not going to be this color that you thought it was. Now, in this light, you think it's dark brown. What's she talking about? You have to rinse out the color um, so it won't rub on your clothes or anything like that. So go ahead with warm water. Put you on some gloves because you do not want to get this dye on your hands. So go ahead and rinse out the dye. Get it all out. And as you're rinsing it, you see that majority of the color is being rinsed off because this is just fabric so then we just have the essence of brown and the more that i rinse it off i'm noticing that the color is getting brighter and brighter and brighter and i'm like what the heck and it's this ashy kind of brown but that's okay but just keep rinsing and rinsing and rinsing until you notice that the color in the water is clear we don't want anything in the water showing any type of brown we want this to be gone okay so keep rinsing keep rinsing get get all in the cap do this method here where i'm just pulling lightly and getting the color out now you can use do not use your good expensive shampoo y'all this synthetic is a plastic fiber and it's mimicking hair so go ahead and rinse this out do not use your good shampoo um, use dish soap or fabric um, softener okay it's gonna have the same effect because this is a synthetic fiber so I'm gonna go ahead and get that soap that I was talking about and use as little or as much as you want um, it lathered pretty well for me so I didn't have any issues you're not quote-unquote this this process is needed please do not forget this step you have to wash the the wig after you've put in this synthetic dye because if you don't if you wear it with something it's gonna get on your clothes and you're gonna look crazy and if i see you i'm clowning like girl you got color on the back of your shirt no i'm just playing i'll put you to the side and be like girl that color is on your shirt girl you know that I'm going to put you to the side. Anyway, so I'm just rinsing it out, getting all that soap out, making sure that everything is out, that cap, the lace, everything. So that's all I'm doing right now. I'm going to let you watch me finish that. a chair uh twerk out with me twerk in your chair twerk in your chair chair twerk in your chair don't be shy can't nobody see you can't nobody see you but go at twerk in your chair twerk in your chair now you her then twerk in your chair 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 twerk in your chair your chair over there i won now just playing you won you won Hey, hey, hey.
Okay, y'all. So I'm adding all of this footage in here because I want to express and let y'all know that after you rinse the wig, please make sure to rinse the tub where you use, the top, anything that the dye may have touched, the top of it, everything, because you don't want any drops of dye to dry on any of your surfaces. And I have white granite tops. And I was just like, nah, I can't have the little black dots everywhere. It's gonna look crazy. So go ahead and wring out all of the water. Make sure that every time you rinse, you are seeing water and nothing else, no brown, no increments of color at all. Hang it on a styrofoam head or on the tubware to dry. Now I let this dry inside overnight, but I brought it in the daylight so you could see what I'm talking about. We got, a, got this out of that yellow, blonde family of color now we have this in a brown but it's this ashy brown we added all of that dye and it's still not brown brown but remember when we put it in the tub it looked like it was this dark brown color no 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 that's what i was talking about in the deception you have to build up to this brown color coming from such a bright color that yellow 613 so this is what it looks like dried it's just like this kind of dull gray color it's not pretty so i boiled some more water put it in this time i added this synthetic right dye in granite which is their version of black and their dark purple i mixed that together now this is gonna give this kind of like space granite gray and a little hue of purple it's not going to be this dark purple wig. It's just so it's not just plain gray. It's going to add this little lavender hint to it. Um, in the thumbnail, it looks like it's just dark. But I'm going to insert a picture right here so you can really see it's like a gray lavender. Now, if you want it to be this gray color, you just add the granite and leave out the purple. Now, I am just making sure that that lace part doesn't go in there this time because i don't want that to be a gray color i'm not an expert on this but i just kind of made an educated guess okay we're gonna make sure that we get it on the hair but not the lace and i let that sit for another hour and voila it is this hue of lavender purple slash gray and as you can see the lace stayed this brown which is what we want and the hairline looks great y'all so now i'm just gonna show you um the hairline and what i did to apply it that's coming up next now now i am not look a wig uh person that could just really give a tutorial on how to apply a wig honey but i'm just using some got to be glued i'm not using anything that's super expensive because this is a synthetic wig i'm using got to be glued in front in front my loves of your hairline i'm not gonna do the blueless cap method on this synthetic wig just showing y'all how to dye it um because to me that would be a waste i'm not keeping this wig on for a long period of time to keep my hair healthy, I always, when I'm wearing synthetic wigs, I take that wig off at night and I let my natural hair breathe. I'm applying um, the Got To Be Glue um, gel before the hairline. I've already gelled down with Eco Styler gel my edges back in this wig cap. I'm, I use the cool setting. When it gets tacky, I'm gonna lay the hair a little bit before that area where we added um the got to be glued now i know y'all see that wig cap <laughs> i know y'all see that wig cap and what i could have done i could have put some of my foundation on that wig cap but i forgot and i wasn't about to record this whole thing over again i love y'all but editing is a beast so i said you know we're just gonna make do and we're gonna take care of that later right now we're just gonna lay this down um, with the got to be glued, it's tacky, it's already sticking. I haven't even got the hair dryer again, putting it on a cool setting, and I'm just gonna just gently 
pull some of the baby hairs. We're going to make some baby hairs. And I'm from Texas, y'all. And I love me a good side little flip over method. I've never been like a strong part. I can't stand wigs that have that strong part. I like to kind of swoop to the side. So I'm just, that's what I'm doing. I'm just swooping it to the side and get some cheap mousse. <laughs> Don't be using all your good stuff you know moose we just using some regular old wally world suave lace because we at least want the hair to lay down in a certain direction now you can go above and beyond boo like you can you can get your wax stick and you can lay it all down and you can do all that i'm just showing y'all how to diet okay i'll just show y'all how to diet that's it i ain't say all the other stuff so we are just adding the mousse to get the synthetic fibers to go in the direction that we want to go in since I'm not using a wax stick. I use wax sticks on human hair, um, full lace wigs or frontal lace wigs. Um, so I don't use my good products for that. So I'm just training the hair to say, okay, we're going this way because the wig is meant to be a middle part. So after I have in that mousse and it's laying in the direction I want to go, I'm showing y'all the suave. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that through, um, the rest of the hair. Now, as you can see, we put hot water on it, synthetic dye twice and the hair is still in its nice pattern. Um, now you can get a brush to get the detail in there a little bit better, but I ain't have my brush at this time, so I just want to hear him do it. But I'm letting that um, got to be glued dry a little bit more, and I'm just raking it through. Um, Cause like I said, as you see, it's still shiny. The, the light's really not catching it that well, but it's a good shine, but not that shine to where it's like, ooh, that look wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. It's like a nice, um, just like a nice shine. And it's nice sheen. And it's dried. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace. And I'm actually cutting in front of where that got to be glued, uh, glued dried. So it's kind of like my little guideline. Um, I'm doing this real fast, y'all. I usually don't do my wigs like this. I usually be really laying them down. But I'm just showing y'all something real quick, uh, how to dye. And I'm just showing y'all how I put this on and styled it. So I'm just cutting the rest of that lace and struggling because I was using just the side of the mirror. Now, it dried. I pulled out some of the baby hairs. And I'm just putting some spray on there in front of the hairline because we want to keep our edges. And you can either use a scarf, and I'm just using the throwback um, strips to get it to lay down. And so you're not worried about getting it all caught up in the hair. I just use that one hairpin or two. Once I have it to the setting that I want, the tautness that I want, I'm just putting that bobby pin back there so it can lay down after it's dry you know it's dry because you're feeling on it and it's that, that crispy that hair pack the hairspray crispy it's dry hun so you just put your finger up under there and make sure you you cut near your thumb so you know you're not cutting the wig you cut that in your whole wig that whole side of the wig cut out you be like what what <laughs> so i'm just taking it out taking that hair pin out and I know, girl, I know you can see that wig cap through there. Now, if I had put some foundation on before that, I wouldn't have that problem. But I see it. I'm quarantined. I ain't going nowhere. This to fit me 360. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that color on there so it won't look so obvious. And there you go. Boom. You can tell that it's a little better. Um, in the future, do put that that um, on the wig cap so it's not showing um, as much. Um, but this lighting really doesn't show how good this hair looks, y'all. Like, it's really not. It's pretty long. I'm five feet tall. And there you go. It's on there. Whatever. I ain't no, I ain't no professional. Whatever. So there is the wig in the middle part. You can see the definition and, um, the texture a little bit better in this lighting. I'm just showing you that you can put in the middle part with this wig. Swoop it over to the side because it has a good hairline. And just... I'm just showing you that if you wanted to put it up in a bun, I'm not even making this perfect. I'm just grabbing it and swooping it in a bun just to show you you could throw that up real quick. You're going to while wear a Target real quick. Let me put this bun on. I'm going to get this bread, child. Let me go to the store real quick. But you can make the bun better, y'all. I'm just, you know, this was a dye um, video. But there you go. 
Um, and I'm just showing you this, how soft it is. We've dyed it, cooked it dang near, and it still has this really, really soft texture, y'all. And like I said, it's really long. I'm five feet tall, and it's almost to my waist. Um, but it's a really good wig. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what exciting colors you're going to do and all this other stuff. Peace. <laughs> Until next time, subscribe. Um, bye.